Okay, so in this video, I'm going to go over how you can eject a project that you have in Expo Snack. Um, you would want to eject your project at some point for various reasons, but probably the most important reason is when you want, if you want to publish this application, uh, you're going to need to get it on your desktop to do the uh, final things that you need to do. Um, so, so how do you do that? So there's a, a few steps that we you have to take. And the first thing before you do anything is make sure you have Node.js installed. Um, I'll provide these steps with various links in the description of this video. Uh, but uh, you're going to want to click on the download that's appropriate for your machine. Um, and just follow the installation. It's a pretty straightforward process. Um, you know, you just click on the download and follow the standard installation procedures. Um, it, it doesn't take too long either. And then, so once that's, I've already installed it, so I'm not going to do that again. But once that's installed, then you can go um, to the next step, which would be to open your um, terminal window, just type it in terminal and bring up terminal window and uh, it's an application that looks like this, right? If you're not familiar with it and uh, what you need to do is install um, so you have node so now you can uh, use the npm command and install the expo um, cli and so that um, command is this again this will be in the description um, again i already have this installed so i'm not going to hit enter but that's what you would do at this point hit enter this might take a minute or two to run. You know, you'll see, you'll get a readout of the various things that are being installed for this uh, process. All right. So then, once that is done, once you have that installed, you're going to go to your Expo Snack, um, uh, the web interface, and if this is your um, great application, you're going to come here and hit the download button. Right. And this is going to download a uh, zipped file. You're going to click on that. It will unzip it when you click on it if you're on a Mac. Right. And so here are all your um, files for this project. You should move this to a location um, that you uh, that's good for you. Okay. So I'm going to throw mine on my desktop now. My standard location would probably be my documents, but just for this tutorial. I'm going to put it in the desktop okay and so your next um, step is to go back to terminal and you're going to cd to that directory and so change direct cd stands for change directory um, so when you bring up terminal you're in like kind of the root folder um, and you should be able to just put in desktop to get there and i am there um, and i'm just going to do an ls that list the different files and folders. I, I see um, uh, that it's right here, right? So just making sure it's there. Copy that. I'm going to say CD. All right. Um, and so uh, this now I am in the folder where this project exists. And so I can actually type. We're going to do a anyway, once this is done, then you can actually go to the development tool of your choice and I'll uh, open that folder by going to desktop. There it is there. I, you know, I have all my files. The, the only um, file that I was developing in with this one is, is right here. Okay. Yeah, so that, that was good. That, that actually um, made sure that it downloaded all the dependencies that I was using. Um, so perfect. And so uh, now I think I should be ready to go uh, with Expo. 
start. Perfect. All right, and so at this point, I can uh, use the uh, QR code to bring the app up on my um, application. I can also click here to run it in the iOS simulator. Of course, though, if you're going to use the iOS simulator, you need to have Xcode installed on your computer, uh, which you know is a free download, but you would need to do that. Um, you know, do you run Android? You need to have the Android tool. Um, download it as well so the first time you run it it um, installs the expo client application on your simulator and uh, it's always a longer process the first time you run an app on the um, emulator after that first time though it should be much quicker all right so there's my application loaded and so um, if I bring up my uh, development software uh, let's just take a quick look at you know right now it says uh, my text in the one button so if I say my button just so you can see there it goes it updates so we are um, in development mode on the desktop now um, and so that's it that's the process for ejecting your um, Expo snack and getting up and running on your uh, desktop environment let me know if you have any questions.